Hey guys, it's Final Master Link. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So in the last episode, we went ahead and did the uh, Cerberus Cup in Olympus Coliseum. Now we're finally going to head back to Hollow Bastion and see what this uh, darkness is surrounding the, the castle. I suspect it has to do with Heartless. Kind of surprised they didn't attack us. Do you think? Looks like there's more heartless now. Oh, nobody's too. Hmm. Uh, let's go check in with everyone. I think they're at Merlin's. I just hit the mic. Sorry about that. It's hard for me to tell if the. It's hard to tell if my voice is too loud or too low. I mean, when I when I'm looking at the game capture software that came with uh, that came with my Elgato, it has like a bar to see like how intense the sound is coming from my mic, but it's still a bit hard for me to tell like if it's you know adequate or not. The only way I can really see is if I uh, is if I look at the playback for the video. Uh, trying to make your uh. Ice cream flavor, huh? Alright. Did we technically need to talk to him? Oh, isn't that Cloud right there? I believe so. I believe that's his Advent Children outfit. Oh, Cloud! What you doing? I'll get him. This time, we settle it. Me and the one who embodies all the darkness in me. Hmm. I said you look kind of different, Cloud. If I do, it's his fault. Whose? Sephiroth. Tell me if you see him. Okay. What's he look like? Silver hair. Carries a long sword. Sure. Well... Be seeing you, Cloud. Be careful. He messes with your head. Makes you think darkness is the only way. Is something wrong? This is pretty much the uh, ultimate fan service uh, here. It's nothing. Hmm? I don't want you involved. You mean, you don't want me there when you go away again? I just... Listen. Even if I go far away, I'll come back. Do you mean it? Yeah. See? You don't look so sure. Well, okay. I understand. Go. Get things settled. Huh? No matter how far away you are, once you find your light, I'm sure it will lead you back here again. Right? I suppose. So I'll stay here. And I'll cheer for you. Okay, Cloud? Okay. I fucking love Aerith in this game. She's just like the cutest thing. Wonder if he'll be okay. He'll be fine. I'm sure there's some light in him somewhere. You're right. Yeah, even more fan service there. There's actually a scene with uh, Leon and uh, Cloud kind of fighting beside each other. But that's a little bit later. Oh, we can finally get this symbol here. With our uh, high jump level 2, so... I don't think we have any more synthesis items for this thing, do we? No. Okay. Go ahead and uh, go to the go to Merlin's house then. Uh, okay, these book things, yeah. Uh, what are those drop energy crystals? Those are definitely useful for synthesis. 
8,000 experience until the next level. I'm actually level 32, so I, I guess it's, you could say technically I'm a little over-leveled, but I don't really care, quite honestly. It's not like one or two levels really makes a difference, unless you're getting a cool ability. You know, like a second chance or once more. Then I could see that. I think this is text, isn't it? I thought they were going to speak. Hey, fellas, you're just in time. Got some good news for you. So get yourselves over to Leon's. What kind of news? We found the computer Ansem was using. Oh, boy. Yep, should, should be able to get all kinds of info on the Heartless and the organization. And maybe something on the Dark Realm, too? It looks like that's where Riku and Kairi are. And the King. Go see for yourselves. It can't hurt. What do you mean? Nothing. Just get to the computer room through the co through the castle postern. Watch your step. I tried to make Sid sound a little southern there, but I mean, you know, as a guy who's almost you know in Michigan, pretty much the northern the northern you can get in the United States, other than I guess uh, like Maine. Can't really do southern accent at all. We're monitors of the Heartless. Uh, we place you in charge of attacking them. Good luck. If he's also pretty cute in this game too. And like, uh, I mean, I, I believe she's 16 in the actual Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I guess she looks about that age. I always thought she was cute though. I could have talked to Merlin, but I don't think he has much for us. So uh, just go through the postern, taking out some bitches along the way. Uh, I left a, uh, I left Hero's Crest on, didn't I? I actually want to, although technically you'd probably get more damage if you used it. I'm going to stick to Oathkeeper, just because of the form boost, and it gives you a little bit of magic as well. Uh, more of these bitches. Take that, bitch. Take that, bitch. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can quite get that crown symbol yet. Ah. You know a spell I haven't... Oh. I just got a rare drop for Goofy there. Is it actually better? Got MP haste. Shit, yeah. Give that to Goofy. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice thing to have. Oh, Rising Dragon. Well, what's the, what's the attack on that? Oh, better strength and better magic. Well, fuck it. Give him Rising Dragon too. Huh. Let's uh, keep on going. Uh, this world up ahead might be a little bit longer than uh, the norm. I mean, technically it's kind of a... Uh, it's hard to describe. Excuse me, are you with the Restoration Committee? What's Leon's gang up to? They've got stuff to do over by the castle postern. Scoop! Huh? Let's report. To who? Our leader, of course. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Don't mind her. I assure you. We come in peace. You're kidding. Problem? Okay, fine. You do the talking. So sorry about this. <laughs> okay. So, I really don't know why they did it, but those three fairy creatures you saw, those are actually the main characters of uh, Final Fantasy X-2. The one in the middle was Yuni. Well, I mean, her actual name is Yuna, but here I think she's called Yuni. 
Uh, the one who had like sort of the bikini on was Riku, who, by the way, is voiced by Tara Strong, who I fucking love to death. Uh, and the sort of goth-looking one is called Pain. Riku and uh, eh, you fuck. Ah, you fucker. Riku and Yuna are both from Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy X 2 is essentially a sequel. Uh, certainly not as good as the original, but it's still a it's still a good game, I think. Com combat system is uh, even though it's not turn by turn based, it's still fun. Uh, I, I have no idea why they like made them fairy creatures in this game, though. I played this years before Final Fantasy X, so or X two for that matter. I just thought it was kind of odd how they turn them into like fairy creatures when they're normally just humans. Ah. There we go. Yeah, you thought you could get me there, huh? Bitch. Power crystals, those are pretty sweet. So are Serenity Stones. Wouldn't be a bad idea to farm those, actually. In this little area here. I believe Serenity Crystals up the, uh... The, uh, what do you call them? Eh. I think they up the, like, the rank of, of the, whatever the item it is you're trying to make. Eh. There we go. Ooh, Mega Potion, hell yeah. That'll work. Man, I could I can certainly use an upgraded cure. I think you actually get that in this world as a as a present. You get another cure element. Oh, look it's Aerith again. You guys found Ansem's computer? Uh-huh, the king is very interested in it. The king? He's with Leon. Hooray, yay, we, we can see King Mickey, yay, yay, yay. Is Rick with them? Of course he's not. Well, at least I can ask the king about him. And that computer might be able to tell us something. Indeed it can. Notice that giant chest right there. We're going to grab that in a sec. Techni technically, this area is also the entrance to a Final Mix exclusive area. Um, well, first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab this chest here too. There's like a, there's like an opening that opens, I think, like right here or something. It, 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 it happens after a certain event. Which I don't think is too far from now, to be honest. Let's open up this too. I think this is the map. Yeah, castle perimeter map. There's a save area in case you gave a shit. You know, uh, since I got the magnet element, I've never actually used that in combat, have I? I heard it's pretty good for crowd control, but it costs a shit ton of uh, MP as opposed to everything else. That, get that. I'm gonna try it out. And there's one hidden right here, too, so grab that. EP boost, like we need that. Uh, can we actually reach that? Eh. Damn. You know what? I think, uh... There we go. Let's use a form gauge through this, why not? It's not like I'm using that often, anyway. What the fuck is that? Uh, there's a thing on the ceiling. I don't know what it was. I don't know, man. So we gotta go through these corridors. There's a couple, like, kind of nooks and crannies here, which have both uh, enemies and, and items you'd like to pick up. There's one right here. Uh, more of these enemies here. Those little, like, laser turret things. Those will be uh, important later in the fight. But what you can do with your reaction command, 
I'm gonna try to wait for one to... No. Okay. Uh, the reaction command you can use, you can grab them, and then they shoot, like, a giant laser beam. Which... Which, like, rotates around you. It's pretty sweet, actually. Rising Sun is also a good movie to have with these soldiers here. Okay. I'm just trying to grab, grab all the items here. Um... Mm. Bitch, please. Ah! Come on. There. Go ahead and open this up. AP boost. Can I grab that? Yes, I can. Some more enemies here, I believe. Yeah. There. Eh. Take down that fucker. Gotta go kind of the other way. Man, this place looks like garbage, doesn't it? Could, could sure, could sure use uh, some TLC. Oh no, I guess I got all the chests. Because I know I've been here before. Okay. Neato. And then kind of a better looking room. This goes to uh, Ansem's study, I believe. Man, this place looks like shit, too. Handsome. That guy looks kind of familiar. Gorge. I guess this must be his room. Master Keen. Hello? Hey, you. Ooh, who's this sexy lady? I'm looking for somebody. Have any of you seen a guy with spiky hair? <laughs> Spikier. I'll just take a look around. A lot of you can probably guess who she's actually looking for. If you play the game she's from. <sighs> Sorry to bother you. No problem at all. Actually, I'd say she looks even sexier in that outfit than her, than in her original. So you mean it. Leon. All right. Uh, before we talk to him, let me grab that. You can read a couple of these if you want, just for, I guess, some exposition. There are some notes about the heart of the worlds. Uh, what's this one? These are notes about darkness. A portrait of Ansem. There are notes about the human heart. And this is about the connection between worlds. So yeah, some, uh, some shit here. Let's actually talk to Leon, though. Isn't the king with you? You'll see him soon enough. Hey! Here, this ought to tide you over. I wonder how he discovered that little trick there. Ansem's computer room. I'm trying to be a little bit deeper for Leon's voice. Uh, computers are delicate. It's okay to touch them, but don't goof around. Yeah, no shit. You could do a lot of shit. Okay. This is it. Where's Kyrie? Where's Riku? Easy. You want to break it? Uh, anyone else oh. see that? 
Sorry. I believe I know who that was. Oh shit, it's Stitch! Oh my god! You gotta wonder, how did Stitch get here in the first place? I I've always wondered that myself. Attention current user, this is a warning. Further misuse of this terminal will result in immediate defensive action. Who's there? The fuck does that mean? I am the master control program. I oversee this system. Where are you? Donald! <laughs> I'm sorry! Decision gate breached. You are now under arrest. Arrest? Oh shit. Run. And they died. Game over. <gasps> yep. Just like that. And we got digitized or whatever it is. So this is another probably pretty original world. Um, although I've never once seen the movie. Uh, I'd probably check it out at least once. Space Paranoids, that's what the world is called, but the movie is based on the Tron movie that came out in the 80s. Fucking painful. I get it. Hmm. Very interesting world indeed. Really bright. Looks like it's from the 80s. Uh, actually, it kind of reminds me of, uh, the fuck's it called? Oh, wasn't there another, like, 80s sort of movie where you're in a computer? I mean, I know that was, like, the gimmick with, Man, with Tron, but... What kind of world is this anyway? You're inside a mainframe computer system. A what system? A computer system for processing data. This system is a copy of one created by a corporation called ENCOM. The original program was destroyed. But this copy was acquired by another user. The new user updated and customized the programs, renaming the system Hollow Bastion OS. He used the system for town maintenance as an operating and to system. His private research. My name is Tron. I'm a security program, but now I'm under arrest, same as you. Did you guys get any of that? Huh. <laughs> you know, maybe we should just introduce ourselves. I'm Sora. And I'm Donald. Nice to meet you, Tron. Well, I'm Goofy. With that configuration, you must be users. With that configuration. I think he means with that, with those names. You'd better get out of here quickly. Who knows what the MCP will do to you? MCP? The Master Control Program. It controls the whole system. If you idle here, you will be derezzed. It's another way of saying so die. How do we get out of here? This terminal could have gotten you back to the user world. But the MCP cut the power 50 microcycles ago. I don't have a clue what that is time-wise. We could power it back up. The problem is, 
We're stuck in this cell. We're not going anywhere unless we unlock the energy fields. Microcycles doesn't sound like a whole lot. Ah, oh, we got a little, we got a little configuration tool of our own to use, huh? Surely the Keyblade, uh, the Keyblade's trap power trans transcends even to the computer realm, huh? Let's talk to Tron real quick. We can get out by gathering the d the door's locked data and freezing it. The problem is we don't have any way to extract the data. Well, we do now. You mean the door thingy block in the exit is locked, right? In that case, shouldn't your Keyblade be able to open it? I would assume so. Uh, it's like the ultimate hacker tool. Uh, this is the same... This is some place we've been taken to. Everything's sparkling so much it's making me dizzy. Yeah, it looks even a bit bright for my eyes looking on my on my screen here. I guess uh, let's try her out. Huh? Well, alright. That worked out pretty well. Looks like there's uh, two chests over there too. Master Control, why not just derez Tron? I still haven't located the password to the data space. What about a logic probe? With all your processing power? Out of the question. The current environment hampers the processing power needed for such an analysis. You're dismissed, Sark. Stop any remaining anomalies in the system or else. End of line. Acknowledged. They actually had like a... Oh, I'll shut up. Remarkable. It seems you have unique functions. Damn straight I do. I'll go with you the can to the canyon. You'll need someone who can interface with the energy core, right? <laughs> Sora's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. So, yeah, it is, he's, he's with us. Unfortunately, he's not really that useful. Uh, he has jackpot, item boost, and auto change. Yeah, that's it. Not very useful at all. Uh, he can get better, though. I got some, uh, I got some things. So, like I was saying, in Dream Drop Distance, they actually had, like, a sequel to this, which is based on Tr Tron Legacy. I think that came out, like, what, 20... 2011 or something? The thing that seemed really weird in my mind about that about that world and Dream Drop Distance was everything looked too realistic to... Like, to me, it looked really jarring for Sora, you know, a cartoon sort of looking character uh, to be in that sort of realistic sort of world. And here, I think they did it good because Tron doesn't look that detailed, you know what I mean? Or maybe that's just because of the limitations of the PS2 or the fact that it was based off an 80s movie as opposed to a movie from, you know, just... Like, you know, six years ago, or what have you. So, I just thought it looked fucking stupid. And the story, I, I really didn't give a fuck about either. It's probably, new, it's probably a movie I'll never watch, to be honest. I'd see the original Tron, just to see, like... You know, I guess how it holds up. Probably not that well, though. I mean, I'm sure it was revolutionary for the time. Actually, let me look at the journal entry real fast. What what exact when exactly did this movie come out? 1982. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go through these go through these things real fast. Let me see P of course. There's Sark, Zark, whatever his name is. Uh. Oh, decent amount of treasures. Two puzzle pieces. Damn. It's not a whole lot at all. Who's that? Oh, that's Lexius. Right, right. He once brandished a giant tomahawk, but now he has been eliminated. Lexius rejected Marluxia's bid to dominate the organization and formulated his own plans. But the plans fell, failed and he met his end. I forgot who actually defeated him. Uh, I think he fought him in the reverse rebirth section of... Uh, of Kingdom Hearts uh, Chain of Memories. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Search the energy core before it finds out. Yeah, I suppose so. Got Frost Crystal. According to Tron, this is kind of like a junkyard. I wonder what all the junk in here used to be. Fuck if I know. 
That thing in the center is the energy core. Let's try accessing it. We may be able to find parts to reboot from all the junk. Yeah, it actually kind of brings up a little bit of a mini game. It's the first I want to get this shit here. There is an item in particular you can farm uh, from... I think you saw him in the cutscene when we were introduced to the world. Like those uh, like yellow sort of sentry looking bots. Yeah, there's only two. That's one to two. Good luck getting that one. Uh, you, you definitely have to have two skills in order to get that. Let's go ahead and do this shit though. Bunch of cubes. This is the energy core. Yep. Okay, so a little mini game. Find the real part. It's actually not that hard at all. What you do? Look at these cubes. You see that one there? Follow it with your eyes. The one that's glowing. And then just wait for it to kind of stop. I want to say it's right here. Yep, and that's all. <laughs> like, it's like, what was the point of that? I don't understand. It, it didn't even waste a minute. I just, I don't understand some things in this game. I mean, it wasn't difficult in the slightest. You know, one thing that doesn't make a whole lot of sense from a logic standpoint. Uh, okay, you know, so if we could get past that one door, how come we were still able to use that, like, path to come to this area? Like, wouldn't the NPC prevent access from that? I don't know. I'm probably just thinking too deep into it. Terminal's back up, though, so that's good. So, uh, I guess let's go back to the real world. Oh. Oh, okay, now he, he he needs a favor. Don't you want to hear what it is first? Fuck no. You helped us, now it's our turn. Yeah, man, that's how friendship works. <laughs> Let's hurry back to the pit cell. Fuck yeah, dude. I feel like Sora doesn't do that well in computer applications. Which, uh, I'm trying to remember what grade I actually got for that back in the day. I know I took it once in 8th grade and once in, uh, uh, 10th grade? Something like that. Research lab. I mean, a couple of those programs are pretty damn handy. You know, to learn. So, what did you want us to do? Find my user. He'll give you the password to access the DTD. So, um... DTD is the name my user gave to the data space. Copies of all the original system programs... Okay, so it's basically a backup. ...anything that's sensitive or restricted. Is there stuff about the Heartless or Organization 13? Probably. Most likely. number of my functions were appropriated when I last took on the MCP. That's why I need the password. If I can get inside the DTD, I can access my original backup program and restore all my functions. I see. Then I'll be able to put this system back the way it was before the MCP got control and changed everything. The way it was supposed to be. A free system for you, the users. Me. Gee, Tron, ain't the MCP one of those programs, too? Do you know who it was who made it? Actually, I don't know. I have a pretty okay. good idea. We'll just have to find your user and ask him. What's his name? You mean you don't know? <laughs> My user is the user of this system. Anson the Wise. Uh, yeah, he's gone, bro. Looks like the MCP's on to us. I'll keep this terminal up and running. You better exit the system now. 
Sure, but Tron, Ansem is. <laughs> okay, you're good to go. Hurry. Well, at least we can leave this god for second place. I, I don't know how we're gonna find a dead guy's password. Well, I, I shouldn't say dead. Defeated guy's password. Whatever you want to say. Leon's probably thinking, oh, thank fuck, they're back. <laughs> Where have you been, goddammit? There's a world inside this computer where these um, programs live and etc, etc. Ansem's research data is off limits unless we know the password. I think that's right. But you've already defeated Ansem. Gosh, maybe we'll never find the password. That means... This is all a wild goose chase. You're chasing what now? Oh, that's... Uh... Tifa. I don't think she ever I don't think she ever said her name. I think there is one particular item we can grab. Whoa. The fuck is she doing? Destroying the room? Okay. Excuse me? That thing looks heavy as fuck. So, I'd probably write the same way Sora did. He's like, damn, bitch. This girl's tough. Hmm. Now, what is this all about? 